Ta-da! Surprise, everyone! Ah! Attacking Street Lamp! <laughs> street Lamp? Oh my! You mean you still don't remember me after all the times we've spoken? I know that voice! It's Mom's friend! Hello there, traveler and friends. And Durin, it's good to see you. You've changed quite a lot. In fact, you look so different that perhaps I should call you Mini Durin. <laughs> Mini Durin, huh? Yeah, I like the sound of that. It's nice being smaller. You must be one of the three goddesses of this world. Are you the goddess of creation? <sighs> yep, that's right. But although it's the most impressive sounding of the three, to be honest, we all made an equal contribution toward the founding of this world. If you've ever read any of M's stories, you'll know just how enchanting the worlds are that she writes about. So enchanting that I just had to step inside and explore it for real. So I got B involved and with M's consent, created the world of Simulanka. Whoa, 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 you're getting a little ahead of yourself. First things first, would you mind explaining what you're doing here? In fact, no, what are we even doing here? <laughs> Don't worry, all will be revealed. After everything you accomplished on your journey, you're free to ask me anything you want. Hmm, let's start with your first question then. I'm here because I sensed a great magic power emanating from the book just now, and I couldn't resist the urge to peek inside and check it out. That must have been when we all gave Minnie Durin our blessings, right? Yes, exactly. In the world of fairy tales, words and emotions often carry far more power than any spell. It's all thanks to your magic that Minnie Durin was able to take this form. Come say hi to me, little one. Oh, look at you. You're as cute as a button. So, what about us? Was it always part of the plan that we'd come here? Uh, plan isn't the word I'd use. If you ask me, I'd say fate works in mysterious ways. When Durin of Simulanka made his wish to the goddess of fate, it just so happened that in a world far away, all of you wonderful people were holding a copy of M's fairy tale at that exact moment. And because of your noble and kind souls, you were selected by the goddess of fate to come and save this world. Now that you mention it, that's what I was doing when I was transported here. I was reading a fairy tale to some children in the Fluff Sandra. I think I just, uh, happened upon an old book and decided to use it as my pillow during a nap in a box. <laughs> wow, what a crazy coincidence. Wait, that's not right. How come everyone else got assigned the role except us? Cause we were also... Yeah, that was it. We just received a strange book and we had no idea who sent it. Then, the moment we opened it up to start reading it, we found ourselves here. You're the one who sent it to us, aren't you? Oh, is that what happened? <laughs> yes, that does sound like me, doesn't it? Hmm, good question. Why indeed? Maybe I thought this was such a good story, it simply had to be read by someone. As the traveler and witness of many worlds, how could I let such a beautiful place pass you by? I can sense that your blessing for Minnie Durin was a very special one. With this blessing from beyond the story, he might even be able to explore worlds outside of this one. To that, you mean? That's right! In fact, back when we were first creating Simulanka, M told us that she hoped the people of this world would one day be able to explore the wider world beyond. Every story has an ending, but if the story becomes reality, it should have the right to choose its own path. So, in other words, the predestined lives these people lead were always going to disappear one way or another. Wait, so even people here get to go to other worlds, surely there's got to be a way we can leave too, right? <laughs> Don't you realize you've been able to leave all along? Huh? 
You can either take the boat at the Broken Sea or touch the giant bookmark at the Cliff of Prophecy. All you need to do if you want to leave is focus on the place you want to go. How were we supposed to know that if you never told us? Huh, didn't I? <laughs> well, given how smart and capable you are, surely it can't have posed a huge problem for you. As for your other friends who were summoned here, if I had to guess, I'd say the Goddess of Fate probably didn't tell them about it because she wanted them to get engrossed in the story. She's M's reflection after all. It wouldn't surprise me if she shares M's love for cliffhangers. Anyway, I think that answers your questions, yes? What do you all plan to do next? I... I'm gonna go say sorry to the people of this world. After that... I want to start protecting Simulanka, just like Mom told me to. Mm. Now we know how easy it is to get back home, Paimon's suddenly not in such a hurry to leave. Same here. It's not every day that you get to come to such a magical world. I, for one, plan to explore it a little longer. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Maybe I should invite some other friends to join you too. By the way, Minnie Durin, I'm delighted to see you've made some new friends. I'm sure Em would be very proud of you. Now, before I depart, please let me give you a blessing as well. May your future be as rich and colorful as the stories Em used to tell. <sighs> She's gone. Guess this is where the hero's journey comes to an end, huh? Ah, but it's also where a new journey begins. The adventures of Minnie Durin and friends. Huh? An adventure for me? You bet. For starters, I'd love to introduce you to my other friends in the forest. Even though there have been some misunderstandings in the past, I'm sure they'll welcome the new you with open arms. Hmm? Huh? Huh? Ugh, stop looking at me. I already said I'll come with you. Whoa! Look over there! Wow. The stars are beautiful. Huh. I'll bet that's a gift to Minnie Durin from the three goddesses of this world. Huh? Thank you, Mom.